There are certain things you won't get in this life. No matter what. Some people will do things to you. God will not avenge you. You will suffer the pain. He's teaching you to be resilient. He's teaching you to love men that are unlovable. Somebody did one thing one time. I entered my prayer closet with rage. Rage. I didn't do anything in public. I entered with rage. I was about to say, devil. God said, shut up. Shut up. I said, but, 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 but. He said, shut up. Shut up. Pray. Pray. I was praying with pain. With pain. The chairs were flowing freely, but I dared not complain. I know who my master is. I thought by the time I do that, and he says, yes, you have done well, then he will avenge me. Now lie. The person was even carrying shoulder for me like this. What can you do? Hi. I thought that he would just fall down and die one day. He flourished. He prospered. The works of his hands expanded. But there I was in pain. God had to come and speak to me to comfort me and to heal me. There are things that will happen in this realm. You will find out that it's a dealing. There's a kind of man he's trying to make you. If not, he will give you a microphone and you will curse all your members. Men who you love will walk away from you. Some of the men you will invest. In. If you're a ministry, I don't know the brother I'm talking to now. Some of the men you will invest the best of your efforts into are the ones that will walk away. And while they are walking away, they'll be walking away by throwing your name into the mud. Some who you will sacrifice your life for are the ones that will carry a dagger and drive it into your heart. God wants to teach you how to love like he loves. After all, the way he loved you, he did not consider what you were. You didn't bring any gift of pacification to him. You didn't bring any gift of, of compromise, of, of comfort. He loved you in your mess. You were his enemy. You had hurt him in places that words cannot describe. Rejected his love a countless times, but he kept coming for you. How many times did you turn your back on him? He whispered sweet nothings into your ears. Pulled at the strings of your heart. But the more he pulled, the more you despised him. Yet he will not take no for an answer. He kept coming for you. He will do the same to you. You will love great men. Treat them with honor. They will stab you in your heart. And then you will wait for the God of vengeance to rise. He will call you to a place of comfort. Rejoice over me, not my enemies. For when I fall, I will rise. When I sit in the dark, the Lord, he will be a light. It's an intimate moment. Men who know what is happening outside is between you and the one whom your heart loves. Your tears will fall like blood. It will not move his hand. You will go to your cross. You will go there. Because what is most important to him in that season of your faith is what you are becoming. Because faithful men are scars. The last good man just fell down. Just fell down. He's looking for another man he can trust. Another woman he can trust. Young lady, don't go to your campus and become under pressure because of what people who don't know God are doing. Wear your virginity with pride. Wear it with pride. I don't enter relationships. You are, you are, you are a Jew. Yes, I, I accept my Jewishness with pride. I accept it. I don't have a point to prove. The essence of my life is that Jesus will be seen. That he will be seen. Tonight I call you to a place where you will go back to God and tell him, I'm ready to wait. I'm ready to stay. What you want to do with this life, do with it. <laughs>